Hey guys, it's Lauren and welcome back to my channel for the love of and you guys a little bit different filming spot today um, But I wanted to get this video out there. This is of Bath and Body Works or I should say white barn Champagne and glitter. This is part of one of the newer collections. They released a couple weeks ago if I'm not mistaken It's like um gosh almost a New Year's type collection a really different looking packaging doesn't scream Christmas too too much but I was really drawn to this fragrance the champagne and glitter because as of recently I've been all about champagne toast I stocked up on the candles and wallflowers can't wait till they get the room fragrance available because this is gonna be my New Year's fragrance so I did grab one of the champagne and glitter candles this is my second time burning it. I just lit it, but I did do um, a pretty thorough burn on it the other evening. If you guys follow me on Instagram at life, L-I-F-E underscore with W-I-T-H and the letter L, I did do a post of a test run of this candle and I was a little disappointed. I've seen a couple reviews. I so badly wanted this candle to, I guess, throw. So I'm, I'm giving it another try but I'm gonna give you guys a review um, of what my experience was and some of the, you know, I guess, good points of this candle and then the not so good points. So first and foremost, Champagne and Glitter includes notes of, I believe it is sparkling champagne, pear, vetiver, and cedar wood, if I'm not mistaken. And I thought it would pair so, so pretty with Champagne Toast. I don't know if I was mentally thinking because it has champagne in the name that it would be a really fruity fragrance, but it's it's quite different. Um, it's not the same as Champagne Toast at all. It's still, I think, would pair really beautifully. The fragrance is really, really nice, but it's a really warm fragrance, you guys. And I think it's that vetiver and sandalwood, or vetiver and cedarwood, rather. I don't get too, too much pear. It's not like a effervescent -y, fruity fragrance, kind of how Champagne Toast is, which I guess I kind of was thinking it would be more along the lines of that. I, I love the scent. I think it's really pretty. My one, I guess, drawback on this candle was the throw. And also the, I guess, the throw of the scent itself. When I did my test run um, a few days back, several days back, I did a post on it. It was starting to do like that gassy kind of scent. I, I don't know how else to describe it. I've had a couple different candles from Bath & Body Works that had that. It's almost like the scent is so light that you can just smell, gosh, almost if you're burning an unscented candle, you can kind of just smell the hot wax and like the, the scent of, I guess, the flames or the gas you know, that's coming out of that. Um, it, it, that's kind of what it smelled like. And I was really bummed because when I got super, super close to the candle, I could smell the fragrance. It's just a very warm tone with a little bit of that champagne bubbly scent, but it's more so a warm, which is I think that vetiver, which I really, really love. I just wish it threw a little bit better. I may exchange this out for another one. Um, same same exact candle maybe there's a batch of variants because i want to like this fragrance if they had a wallflower in it which i didn't see one i would definitely try that because i think it's such a pretty fragrance i think the scent itself maybe if you have like a candle warmer or a plate warmer where you could heat up the wax it might perform a little differently again i've always hold true that sometimes it's not the wax it's the wicks that they use so i don't know if that has anything to do with it but overall um great scent really like the scent very different just a very warm based I think it would pair well with champagne toast which, which is what I intended on pairing it with I still might just because it would balance out that sweet effervescent -y of the champagne and bring in a little bit of warm and cozy with that cedarwood and vetiver my only qualm is the performance so will I try it again yeah I'll probably exchange this one out for another one um, I'm hoping that it will throw I'm gonna give it another test run as well I'll have to comment at the end of this video 
This collection, you guys, I know we're inching closer and closer to Candle Day. So I wanted to get this review out there because I think this one's just very intriguing. They have a few other ones in this particular collection. There's like a Peach Sparkle, which I kind of wish I would have grabbed because that would pair so pretty with Champagne Toast. And there's several other ones. I think Black Tie, of course, is in there. So if you guys have tried this candle, Champagne and Glitter, or any of the candles from this collection, Comment down below. I'm curious to see your thoughts. So final takeaways, would I buy this candle again? Yes, I'm gonna exchange it out for another one and see how it goes. Um, you know, nice scent. I just think the performance isn't that great. It is a little bit lighter of a fragrance. Definitely not for an open concept. Um, probably in a bedroom, um, half bath, something like that. You would probably be able to catch some of that fragrance. I hope they come out with a wallflower in this. Really, really pretty scent, um, just doesn't throw as much. So anyways, you guys, before I sign off for today, I wanna let you know if you're on Instagram, as I said earlier, come find me at life, L-I-F-E, underscore with W-I-T-H and the letter L. If you follow me, I will most certainly follow you back. And you guys, I didn't say this in my other video that I recently uploaded, but I hope you guys had an awesome, awesome, awesome Thanksgiving. I cannot wait to show you guys. I don't know if I'll get another video up before Candle Day, but I will be sharing with you the candles I get on Candle Day. Probably not going to be anything too, too exciting. I'll probably just be stocking up on champagne toast and maybe that peach sparkle. I'm not going to go too, too crazy this year because as I've said in other videos, we're in the midst of a move. <laughs> so I got to rein in my candle spending here. So, but you guys, I hope you are having an awesome day, an awesome evening, an awesome weekend, whatever time it is you're watching this video. And until next time, we'll see you later. Bye guys.